Good afternoon, everyone. Eric Morrow here to report the area news for WJSQ WLAR. Brought to you by Farmers Insurance, a Donnie Gaddis agency. Well, Tennessee authorities were on the lookout Monday for a man they say killed his former boss with a hatchet. Nashville police tweeted that 36 year old Dominique Michaela was charged with the murder. They say he used a hatchet Monday morning to kill the man who fired him about 14 months ago. 46-year-old Joel Pavilla outside the Balance Training Center at a shopping center in the Bell Mead community. News outlets report police spokesman Don Aaron said Michaela came to the business armed with a hatchet and another weapon, either a second hatchet or a large knife. Well, services are also set this week for a Tennessee Sheriff Sergeant who was fatally shot while responding to a call. According to the Taylor Funeral Home in Dixon, Sergeant Daniel Baker's funeral will be held at 1 p.m. Tuesday at First Baptist Church in Dixon. The Tennessee Bureau of Investigation says the 32-year-old Baker was found dead in his patrol car Wednesday after responding to a call about a suspicious vehicle. Two suspects were arrested last week in Baker's death. A district attorney says the state of Tennessee will seek the death penalty against them. The city manager of Athens, Tennessee wins the Historical Commission Award. Since 1975, the Tennessee Historical Commission Certificate of Merit Awards programs has honored individuals, publications, projects, and programs that contribute to the historic preservation and or history efforts in the state. This year, one of the recipients was the Athens city manager, C. Seth Sumner. Under the Special Commendation Award category, Sumner was given honors for facilitating and supporting the city's successful 2017 application to the Certified Local Government CLG program. Nominations were voted on and approved by the full commission in their February meeting and recipients were notified last month with May recon recognized as Preservation Month. As of the 2017 39 towns, cities, counties in Tennessee have been certified by the Tennessee Historical Commission and the National Parks Service as CLGs. These communities have benefited from the participation as CLGs through the technical assistance, training, and networking opportunities provided by the Tennessee Historical Commission and through the grants they have received. City Manager Sumner stated, The Certificate of Merit was a real surprise and I'm grateful to be recognized by the state's Historical Commission. But the real winners here are the property owners of our beautiful city. The CLG program provides some of the greatest tools available for the citizens to protect their investments in our community's historic assets. Again, that's from the Athens City Manager, C. Seth Sumner. Here's some community announcement from the City of Athens Public Works Departments. They announced some of the following information. There will be a street closure in the area to be affected is Woodman Street from Bank Street to Madison Avenue. Access to the parking lot area is provided. The closure will be from Monday, June 4th, 2018 at 8 a.m. until Friday, June 22nd, 2018 at 4 p.m. The purpose of this closure is for stormwater storm drainage repairs. The Athens Animal Shelter will be closed Monday, June 4th, 2018 for the cleaning purposes. The Athens Animal Shelter will reopen during business hours on Tuesday, June 5th, 2018. For more information, you can contact the Office of the Public Works Department at 423-744-2745. You can hear the local and regional state news on WJSQ FM 101.7 Monday through Friday, excuse me, Monday through Saturday at 7 a.m., 8 a.m., noon, and 5 p.m. WJSQ News can be heard on WJSQ WLAR Facebook page Monday through Friday every evening with a wrap-up of the day's top stories here. If you see news happening or you just want to let us know about some community events, you can reach us at the following email address. That's news, N-E-W-S, at WJSQWLAR.com. This is Eric Morrow reporting the evening wrap-up. You all have a great afternoon.